acceptance testing, that's what it's actually yes. called. Yeah, so they make sure what we've built is the concept of verification and validation. Yeah, so have we built the product right? Have we built the right product? And they're two very subtly different things. Cool. Any more? Is that it? Is that our team? One more, come on, there must be. So well, we're going to have to let go of a few people back at the office. <laughs> yeah. That's how John did it. There's about what? Seven, eight hundred people? You get the job? <laughs> Alright. Is that everyone you think? Okay, cool. So I'll move on to who we need in our team. So we've mentioned a couple of them. Um, here's a couple of others. Some that you may not have heard of. Just making them up. Um, a dit, D I T. Does anyone know what a dit is? No. Anyone like to have a guess? I'll give you a clue. The T's for test. Developer in test. Well, go. do you know what? That didn't go for that guy. Just leave the ball there. Um, yeah. So, a developer in test, it's I don't know, Pete, you're probably going to correct me here, but it's kind of like a hybrid of a developer and a tester. So a tester will traditionally see what the developer's done in some version of the code. A developer in test will try and merge the two together and almost build an automation suite for the testing. So every time you check in your code or every time you add a new feature, some automated tests run rather than a manual person. Is, is that where test driven development comes in? Yeah. Or, or so, um, we, yeah. yeah. So we encourage all the developers to do test driven development, <coughs> but a developer in test is kind of the specialist that would sit with the <coughs> team that would uh, write a lot of the tests where the developers don't have the capacity, but also support the developers to write tests themselves as well. So ultimately, we want everybody to be doing test driven development. I think. That's pretty much where we're at with most of our teams now. Yeah. How many of you guys, when you're out in court, care about unit tests? Something. <laughs> Do you write the unit test before you write the court? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> right. How many of you guys write component tests? Functional tests. So we've got, you've got unit tests, then you've got component tests. Then you've got system tests, which are system tests is traditionally where the testers go. You've got integration tests and user acceptance tests. So that's kind of the hierarchy of test models. So unit tests where you guys